Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today we are diving into one of the most commonly asked questions in interviews, data deduplication. I will walk you through three different SQL methods to remove duplicates from your data set and by the end we will discuss which method might be the best for your use case. So let's get started. So before we dive into the SQL method, let's take a quick look at our sample data set. So this is a typical sales data set and here is what it looks like. As you can see, our data set contains several columns, ID, item, quantity, price and total price. However, we also have some duplicate rows. Each ID represents a unique transaction but the same transaction appear multiple times in the data. Our goal is to remove these duplicates and keep only the unique records. Alright, then let's start with the most straightforward method using the distinct keyword. So this is a great choice when you want to remove duplicate rows across the entire data set. So here is the SQL query for the same. So if I run the query, you can see that we have filtered out the data. As you can see, we are selecting all the columns with the distinct keyword. So here we have used star. This query will return only unique rows effectively eliminating any duplicates. In our data set, this would reduce the number of rows from 12 to 3, each representing a unique transaction. However, this method checks for uniqueness across all the columns. So if you need to remove duplicates based on specific columns, distinct might not be the best choice. But for a quick and simple solution, it does the job well. Next, we have the group by clause. This is a bit more flexible compared to select distinct. This method groups the rows based on the specified column. What's great about group by clause is its flexibility. You can choose which columns to consider for identifying duplicates. In this case, it works similarly to the select distinct because we are grouping by all columns, meaning it would also reduce the dataset to three unique rows. However, just like distinct, it still processes all columns mentioned. So you should use it when you want deduplication based on a comprehensive check of multiple columns. And now let's have the most advanced method using row number with a qualify clause. This method is perfect when you need to control over the deduplication process. So how does this data run? So row number assigns a unique number to each row within a partition of rows that have the same value for the specified column. So if you have a look at this, you can see that we are assigning a row number over all the partition columns here. Please keep in mind that floating point numbers are not supported in partition by clause so we have to cast it to string this method gives you a granular control especially if you want to specify which duplicates to keep based on additional conditioning or ordering so which method is best for you well it really depends on your specific needs select the distinct before quick deduplication when all columns need to be checked group by all so this method is used when you need to deduplicate based on a subset of columns and need that kind of flexibility then you have the row number with a qualify clause so it offers the most control allowing you to choose which duplicates to keep based on ordering on additional columns for most cases requiring precision control over duplicates, the row number with a qualify method is the better choice. It's especially powerful while dealing with complex datasets 
where the duplicates aren't just identical rows but require deeper checks and that's it for today's video i hope you find this methods useful if you did make sure to like and subscribe and hit that notification bell for more data tips and tricks and let me know in the comments which methods you prefer or if you have any other sql tricks for deduplication thanks for watching and i will see you in the next video